discover our guest's occupation and his identity. We'll begin the questioning with Joyce Brothers. Occupation identity. Correct. Is it a human being? Uh, well, I would, um, yes, I think so. It, yes, it is yes, a human yes. being. Um, do you have to have a degree to do what you do? Third degree. Uh, <laughs> Well, offhand, I'd say no, you don't particularly need a good degree, no. I'd One down no. line to go, I'd Jack. No. Yes. Sir, are you, uh, are you dressed in uh, something that is what we city folks consider unusual? Excuse me, I just hit my own mic. I'm sorry. It's all right. Well, I would say part of me. How about that? Well, we're going to say no, really. We're going to say no. But no. there is something going on that, that you would recognize in Stantra. Two down and eight to go, Arlene. I remember Lionel Stantra. I don't know what that means except What's just Stantra. Lionel and Stantra. Is a wonderful Lionel and Stantra. Great to meet you. A, <laughs> you mean our guest is doing something or something is going on with our guest that uh, would give uh, it away if we knew what it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 I'd say so. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um, are you uh, are you with someone or thing? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you with a thing more than a one? Is there a is there uh, no? Thing? I don't think so. I wouldn't say thing. I would find that rather insulting. <laughs> well, I guess he will, but I would say yes, and you would go ahead, Arlie. Oh, oh, sure. Sure. Right. Are, you asking, really? Are you with a puppet? Uh, well, partly, yes. Might might say yes to that question. Mm -hmm. Part, partly, pu yes. par partly puppet. Are you'd you would say yes. Do you uh, do you perform in television? Yes, I would say yes to that one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Are you? Um, do you have a uh, a, a regular program? Yes. Yes, good. Yes, that's a regular one. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Do I hear wheels going around somewhere? Only in your head, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three down and seven to go. <laughs> Scooby, uh, I hear things, of course, that I do all the time. <laughs> uh, but that's my problem. But if it's oh, who I think it is... I'd like to go on record as saying I'm their biggest fan, and without them, the show would be nothing. I'd say it's Jim Henson and the puppets. The You're puppets. right, the Muppets. Very nice. Very nice. It's Kermit. Hi, Kermit. How are you there, Soupy? Fine, how are you? Fine, good. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with him many years ago. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Where was that? In, uh... So Houston. the Jimmy Houston. Dean show and also the old Ed Sullivan uh, uh, thing that they did right. with the... Yep. Jim Henson is a president of Henson Associates and an Emmy Award winner for his puppets. What are some of the other puppets that you've uh, developed? Oh, I guess, well, the ones on Sesame Street are the ones people know most. Uh, Big Bird and Oscar and Ernie Bert, those sort of things. How do you decide on, on what the puppet's to be, what the character's going to be? Well, usually I start off with some kind of a drawing and... Mm -hmm. um, and then the puppet is made, and then the puppet usually takes a lot of shape from the um, the puppeteer that works him. Mm -hmm. uh, someone like uh, Frank Oz does Bert and Cookie Monster and Grover, and mm -hmm. uh, so a lot a lot of the personality comes out of the performer. <laughs> now, how did you how did you begin? Uh, yes, that's true. <laughs> I didn't mean to ignore yes, well, you. Well, I was I'm wondering sorry. about that. I, yes, okay. Well, I really Go ahead. Do you know most Pay no attention to the frog, folks. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what I meant to say was in most places, uh, frogs and, and uh, puppets are for, are, for, are for adults, but in this country, they're for children. How do you account for that? Either one can answer that. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, well, I think we're, uh, in terms of the Muppets, we're, we're working to sort of do some, some things different. Uh, we're, we're working on a, uh, an adult television show right now, and we're working on a theater show, so we can have I to ask, do a few things for adults. Can I ask Kermit something? Sure. Huh? Kermit? Hmm. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with the idea and to finally get 
Jim Henson Wright. <laughs> well, uh, well, let's see. It was uh, the beard was the hardest part. You know, I don't <laughs> the beard. Know. I, yeah, I don't Jim, Jim. Let me. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I understand. Are you going to use the Cookie Monster to teach children nutrition? Well, we did uh, we did a, a commercial for the Nutrition Council with Cookie Monster. Mostly to kind of offset all of those cookies we've forced down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim, uh, yeah. Joe Raposo, who is a genius at writing mm -hmm. music, did was was Kermit the inspiration for him writing? Uh, it's not easy being green. Yes, yes. As long as that's yeah. come up. Yes. Would you? <laughs> sure. Together or singly, yeah. Lloyd? Oh, could you hit it? Oh, look at that. Joe Raposo wrote this. Yeah, and he was wrote it originally for Kermit. Yeah. And uh, one of my favorite songs now. It's not that easy being green, having to spend each day the color of the leaves. When I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful. It's not that easy being green. It seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things. And people tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars. 